Factory East is a life-changing project that helps vulnerable people and people who are hard to reach. It was about postcode wars in them days. A young boy that we knew went to Beckton and he got asked by a group of lads over there like what he was doing round here and where's he from. And he ended up getting a garden fence literally put through him. A serious offence happened in the community which shook the community. A grandmother and her granddaughter was killed in their flat while they slept set alight. That took its toll on me, you know, like holding my dear mum, watching her mate get buried with her granddaughter. To see the fear in my mum's face, I just thought, no, that's my calling. In 2008, you know, I wanted to sort of reach in, make something happen so that we could bring our communities together, so that our young people would be a bit safer, rather than this mindset that we'll all gonna take each other out just because we don't come from the same area or the same postcode. And uh, that's, that was the, the beginning of Factory East, yeah. Word just spread upon the streets. The first night I opened, it was just hundreds of kids showed up. And the first group of young people that I mentored was hardcore gang members from all over London. I was never really too confident when I was younger. I couldn't find like, a sp I was always in sports, but I couldn't find a sport I was good at. And then I went boxing and Jack spoke to me for like the first week, he just made me feel like I could do anything. Like him and the other coaches. It ended up being such a safe haven for everybody. A lot of people didn't have their mum and dad at home. A lot of people, parents was at work. They'd be out from nine in the morning till 11 p.m. till their mum got home. So without Factory East, I mean, what was you gonna do? It felt like everything at the time. It was the first place you could let out your energy, the first place you felt protected. Like, it literally felt like the heart of Bo was built because it felt like love was put back into Bo. You know, as long as you come with the positive mindset that you wanna change your life and you wanna make something of yourself, you can come, we'll accept you. lucky they like me coming here and going to youth clubs because they know I'm safe and I like making music and the older lot are nice to you. So in 2011 on August the 11th when the riots happened and we took 30 kids out on a day trip that day if it wasn't for the fact that we had them on that project the kids that we had on that project would have definitely have been involved and they would have been committing crime in London on that day. The project saved them kids that day, and that was initially what it was for, and, and, and we done that. So we, we achieved what we set out to achieve. We got a couple of awards. We changed hundreds of lives in that first building. If you're on the streets, you can get like beaten up or something. If you're here, you know you're safe. Unfortunately, we lost that building. Property developers see that. Another thing I realised was that councils and authorities, there's no uh, fluidity, they don't open for the people, they work within remits, and that don't work for us. We're not your council, we don't open at eight and finish at five. That was one thing about the factory, what made it unique. We was community. You remember, Tarlem has had 32 youth clubs. There's now eight. Services being restricted and things being changed the real work is not happening no more. Through Jack's experiences, what he'd been through in his life and his connections with, with the community, he was just able to naturally produce that sort of model and that style and that vibe of how to work with them. That was his forte. Jack's very supportive. I think he, he's got a good connection with people who've, who've had problems. He's understanding, he's understanding and Obviously, growing up, they tell you the right stuff, but he tells you it in a way where you actually take it in. 
so you will think about it. It's not a conventional project, it's a very independent project. You know, if the projects like Factories would have been backed 13 years ago, most probably the knife crime in the country wouldn't be how it was now. If we want to change society, we need to support the grassroots organisations, otherwise society will not change. I just want us to have a building that's built by the community, run by the community, for the community. So the charity owns it outright. And then also what we will do is develop our board of directors so that we've got a really good board around us with some influential people in the board wanting to make a difference in society. I want people to look at Factory East as if it was their kid and they're taking their kid through secondary school and they want to give it the best education that they can in life. And then from there, you know, we're going to still need support. It's an ever-going thing because community is always going to grow. If anybody wants to invest in the Factory East, you are going to be seen as uh, somebody who believes in the community, the people that lifted the community and kept them there and gave steps for the youngers to platform their youngers. So we have this cycle of greatness instead of a, a vicious cycle. Honestly, that is how you change a generation, by riding it all the way through. And they did, they literally have. I look at people now, there's so, so many artists successful, and there's so many people that are in big, big places and it all stemmed from Factory East. I don't think I would have been at uni without it. Um, when I was, after losing my friend, Felt very lost, felt like I didn't have no one. Then went to Jack's uh, factory, and like I said, he made me just feel invincible. But then also felt like I had him now, and my dad, and all the other coaches there I could speak to. So if you really do want to sort of invest in the, the uh, next generation, and support an organisation like Factory East, they're genuine. Jack as a whole is going to save a whole generation of children. I mean, that's one man that can change a whole world. It's up to us to try to make a difference, to try to make us have a nice future for the country and for the planet. Care, grow and love, that's what it's about Factory East. It's about caring for something and wanting it to grow and then loving what you're involved in doing, yeah.